Palmer opens one diamond, and we dutifully bid one no trump. Palmer replies two no trumps, and as we have eight points, almost maximum with two tens, we of course bid three no trumps. West leads the eight of spades, and partners, 16, very optimistic points comes down. Are we going to get lucky on this hand in this rather precarious three no trumps? In order for three no trumps to succeed, firstly, West needs to have led away from the ace of spades. There's no chance unless West has led from the ace of spades. Secondly, spades need to be breaking 4-4. Four, four. Fairly good chance. We're fairly balanced. Partner's fairly balanced. And nobody competed in spades. Nobody overcalled. So the spades break 4-4. Four, four. We're going to be all right. We'll only lose the, at most three spade tricks. And something good has to happen in diamonds. What needs to happen in diamonds? Either the diamonds need to break, or a double tonona needs to appear from either west or east. So with this in mind, let's go straight for the diamonds. So we play diamond to the king, and a second diamond, and up pops the jack. Well, it looks like the diamonds are breaking 4-2, but at least our ten of diamonds will be promoted once we've forced out the queen. We play another diamond, taken by east queen, and as... As suspected, uh, West has no more diamonds, and the diamonds did in fact break 4-2. East comes off lead with a spade, and another spade, and they cash one more spade, and it's our day for the bridge gods. Spades have broken. Whatever West plays back, we're now in the driving seat. We take our ace of hearts, we cash the established diamond, and we take our four winning clubs. And in this rather ridiculous contract, with only 16 opposite eight, 24 high card points, with both hands being very, very balanced, we still managed to muster nine tricks. We made one spade, one heart, three diamonds, and four clubs. Do take advantage when the distribution is in your favour and still make your contracts. Never give up. Never say die.